friends, Miss Katrina here with Shelly today. Uh, we wanted to share with you one of Shelly's favorite books. Uh, it's called Raising a Hero and it was written by Laura Numeroff. Hi, I'm Max. My mom says when I grow up, I'm going to be a service dog. Service dogs are really smart. They can open doors, turn on lights, and even take off someone's shoes. My mom says helping someone do those things is just like being a hero. Every service dog starts learning with a puppy raiser. When I met my puppy raiser, Sam, I knew right away we'd be best friends. I'm going to live with Sam and his family for a whole year. He's going to teach me the basics before I go to a school to learn the really hard stuff. Every morning, Sam has cereal with bananas and milk, and I eat yummy, crunchy kibble. When we're finished, it's time to start training. Sometimes, I just want to run around and play. When Sam and I go out, I get to wear my special yellow vest. It lets people know I'm working. I always feel important when I have it on. Once a week, we go to puppy kindergarten. I'm friends with all the puppies in my class. There's Ellie, Porkchop, Nacho, Daisy, Mr. Bubbles, and Moose. Everything we learn to do in class is called a command. One of the commands I like best is visit. It means Sam is asking me to get close to him. After school, we go to the park to practice. Sometimes, I just want to chase the squirrels. Once, I saw a real service dog, and he didn't even look at the squirrels. I can't wait to be just like him. We met a little girl named Lucy who uses a wheelchair. I got to practice my visit command. Lucy said one day I'll help someone like her. Service dogs have to stay focused when they're working, so I have to practice being around people, cars, and all kinds of noises. I can go places other dogs aren't allowed. I can go on the bus. The bus driver even lets me ride for free. I can go to the library. Sam likes to look at books about dinosaurs. I like to take a nap. I can go to a restaurant. I'm supposed to stay underneath the table, which is really hard when the french fries smell so good. But my favorite place to go is the movies. Sam always gives me a little popcorn. When we get home, Sam takes off my vest and we get to play. Sometimes I get so dirty I have to take a bath. Before we go to bed, Sam reads aloud and I listen. After Sam says the end, he brushes his teeth and then he brushes mine. When it's time for me to leave, Sam and I are going to miss each other very much. But we both like dreaming about how I'll be helping someone who needs a dog like me. And that's just like being a hero! All right, friends, we are all done reading our book for today. I hope you enjoyed listening in with Chevelle and I as we learned a little bit about Max's adventures towards becoming a hero dog. Um, this book is one of Shelley's favorite books because it talks about where Shelley came from. So a lot of our friends ask where we get the amazing dogs from Pet Pals. So this story is pretty close to where Shelley came from. She was raised by a volunteer puppy raiser, just like Sam here in the book. Uh, from an organization called Canine Companions for Independence. You can see the patches right there on Shelly's working dog vest. So this is a story that's very near and dear to Shelly's heart, and it shares a little bit of information about what some of those amazing assistance dogs can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story with us, and we hope you have a great week, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.